Hello and welcome to the Philippines. What do you get when you have an event on the outskirts of a city uh, where hundreds of thousands of people are, are planning to go and apparently little to no transportation? Uh, this, is, this was during the very famous large Sinologue Festival in Cebu City, Cebu, the Philippines. And hundreds of thousands of people are walking back towards the city. As a matter of fact, you see some people walking back the other direction, and uh, they're walking who knows where. Maybe they're home. Maybe they were in Cebu City for s some event, the downtown area or the uptown area, Mango Avenue, uh, for some event. And they're walking back, back home, perhaps. I have read that there were about 600,000 people at this event at SRP, South Road Properties, uh, out, out near uh, past. In fact, ahead of us here is SM Seaside Mall. And to the right, this is a 360 degree video. So if you are watching on a phone, smartphone, you can, you can just turn your phone to the right and it, it will it will show you you can you can move your phone up and down left and right and you've got the new new star casino resort and hotel over there to the right and the sea mactan uh mactan channel if you have a touch screen you should be able to to move it around with your touch screen zoom in and out also possibly depending upon how much memory you have in your device off to the left is actually another event. They've got a, a, a big uh, a big bandstand type thing over there, and there's a big sign out here saying Cebu Music Festival. So that is, uh, I don't know if it's tied at all to Sinalog or not, but it is on the same day, big, uh, big event over there. And uh, ahead of us again, if you move to ahead of us, you have SM, you have SM Mall, Seaside. And that's strange. Uh, seems to have rendered a little bit strange there. It's not the full screen, a little bit like it's tilted. Not sure what the deal is there. Still learning my Insta360 times three camera. Anyway, you have you have SM Seaside just to the left here. Big mall over there. And uh, what you have there here in about, I think, 20, 30 minutes, that we're going to have a big... They, they were going to have a big a big fireworks display, I guess. And anyway, we are walking on into town. There was no transportation we could find. Maybe a hobble-hobble motorbike taxi here and there. Uh, but anyway, these, these police came out. There hundreds, thousands of people lined up over here by, and just to the right where it's, where it's black, is the Mactan Channel, the sea. And they're lined up here to watch the fireworks. Anyway, these police came out shortly before the fireworks were going to. And uh, started chasing people, chasing people away from this area. Probably because traffic was just starting to flow and there would be an, an issue, a, a risk issue with people getting run over. Crossing back over to the mall side. Anyway, I think uh, I had zoomed out of my video a little bit, um, and therefore it looked like it had rendered strange. So I'm not sure if you're seeing that or not, but I have I have adjusted it on my screen, and now it looks normal. Now they've got they've got some construction going on. They are widening the lanes, or I have read perhaps building a some kind of a traffic circle out here, and maybe even maybe even some sort of boardwalk I'm not absolutely positive but it looks like they're extending the they're reclaiming more of the sea with all these rocks and concrete and uh, it will be interesting to see how that all develops over the next coming months it's about five to six kilometers from downtown Cebu City out to uh, the SRP where this event was held uh, you know, five or six so three to three to four miles, depending on where you're starting in Cebu City, Mandawi City, to walk out here. And early in the morning with my binoculars from a condo in uptown Cebu City, I could see thousands of people walking. I never did see a bus. I don't know. They 
I had read a couple articles saying they were going to have lots of buses, plenty of buses for everybody. But I, for one, did not see any buses. I think all day I saw two or three buses. Um, one was a Cebu City bus. Uh, one was a... Uh, was on the back side of SRP and there was a long line of people waiting and they said well there's only two buses running back back to the city from there so not sure not sure of the official line on that I have been searching the news sites uh, to find out what the deal was because like I said before the before this event I had read a couple times a couple articles that said they are going to they are they're they're going to have lots of buses for people. I am not complaining because I like to walk out and back again. It was a good experience. My girlfriend, on the other hand, was was uh, her, her legs and feet were in pretty rough shape, and she was having. We stopped, took a couple breaks, but uh, it's a long a long ways for most people to walk. We walked out to that area, SRP, kind of on the the back side of it, uh, the back roads, and I'll, I've got some video of, of that I'll put up later, just to give you an idea of, of the areas out there. And uh, when we got up here, my my memory card was filled by the time we got up here close to the bridge, where, where the, the third bridge, the CCLEX, C uh, Cebu Cordova, Link Expressway goes over to Mactan Island. About that area, a lot of people were still walking across that bridge, but we found a hobble hobble that charged us 50 pesos each, about a dollar each, to take us across the bridge over to Plaza Independencia. So maybe one kilometer or less, and I thought that was fair enough. And uh, so we, we both jumped on the back of that, that motorbike, and he took us that far. Then we walked most of the way up, back up to the uptown area. Um, over a kilometer, I'm guessing a couple of kilometers, a mile or so. This part of the video is back where we left the event at SRP, the Cinelog Parade uh, set up out there. And uh, like I said, hundreds of thousands of people walking over on the right side of the road, uh, if, if you're looking forward, the direction we're walking is Il Corso. A little bit of a shopping area, popular place, especially on the weekends, lots of places to eat out there. Um, and then you've got uh, Phil Invest owns all that property out there. Phil Invest uh, has a couple condominium projects out there. I've done videos at uh, Amalfi and San Remo. And I've got dozens and dozens of videos of condominiums. What do they rent for? Uh, what do they look like? What do you get? What do they sell for? Cost of living videos and uh, shopping videos, travel videos, other try to put out more informative type information. I've been doing this since 2015. I think I started my YouTube channel in 2016 early. So consider, uh, consider subscribing if you haven't so you get alerts. And uh, come along, comment. That always helps the algorithms. I have a GoPro 9 Black that I do some videos with and this new uh, Insta360 degree camera. And I will be doing a combination of, of that type of thing. Some people like the 360 views. If you don't like the 360 views, you can still walk, watch the, the video and just put it in one direction. You want to watch it, and just leave it there. There's also an icon up in the upper left-hand corner that you can use to move it around if you, uh, if you want to use that as well. Kind of a direction little uh, button. I've watched quite a number of videos about... Uh, the editing of these 360 videos, different things, and you, you can do all kinds of fancy things. A lot of people will, will say, well, I set, I, I use these settings, but they don't tell you why they use those settings, and that's something I'm still learning. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for coming along. See you next time.